What's up guys? Welcome to your 140th Android tutorial for the new Boston. What we're going to do in this tutorial is basically finish up our custom pinpoint class. And basically the setup for the what we have left in this in this class is going to be pretty simple and pretty quick. So this might be a short tutorial, but uh, let's work with this overlay item, create item, and we get pass in a int, uh, int value. So what we want to return is basically the value in our array list that we set up. So we call that array list called pinpoints. And what we're going to do is say dot get and we're basically going to refer to the index within our array list. So we're going to say the index and we're going to call the index i which is again being passed in. So now it's just going to return the value of whatever position in our array list um, at position i or whatever is being passed in that's the value of this class and what it's going to do and basically when we use this size method all we're going to do is return the size of our array list so again it's going to be simple um, so pinpoints dot size and that's going to be the size of our array list so that's just going to return how big our array list is and uh, you know that's what the size method is going to be used for now what we need to do is we need to add some sort of method that's going to you know insert um, some stuff into our array list so what I'm going to do is create a method called insert pinpoint or something like that so you can just say public void and we're going to say uh, insert oops insert pinpoint or something and we want an overlay item We're just going to call this uh, item, maybe something like that. So we get passed in an overlay item, and what we want to do is basically add to again our our overlay type or overlay item type array list. So again, we have our array list called pinpoints. And we're just going to use a method called add. Pretty simple, right? And we're going to add the overlay item into our overlay item list or array so we're just going to refer to the item that's being passed in called again item and add it to our array list we also want to populate so we're just going to say this and populate and all this does is it's a utility method to perform all the processing on a new itemized overlay so um, it's just, just going to get everything set up for the most part and uh, we're good to go I mean we've pretty much set up this whole class Again, it has two constructors and everything is ready to be used. So let's save it and close it um, for now. Hopefully we won't have to come back to this and change anything, but who knows, we might. But there we go. We're pretty much done with that custom pinpoint class. And now we can actually refer to it within our main class um, or actually within our touchy overlay class, which is within our main class and we're going to do that within the onCreate method so again we have a uh, remember we have a constructor for that custom pinpoint class that takes in a drawable and it also takes in a context so what we're going to do is we're going to scroll up to our onCreate method of our main class and create a drawable drawable item so what I'm going to do is just simply uh, create a drawable that we're going to use for a whole class so let's define it above and we're gonna say drawable D and we're gonna set D which again is our drawable object and we're just gonna say equal to get resources dot get drawable refer to maybe um, well our drawable folder if you guys put in an uh, in a drawable for this again you want to make sure like you're doing like a bullseye or something like that because it's going to be um, adjusted or bound to the center of our drawable object I'm just going to use the icon that comes with the default package for now because I don't really feel like busting out my you know Photoshop or whatever and creating some bullseye that's going to turn out terribly so I'm just going to use again just the default icon that comes with the project when we set it up and now we have a drawable set up so we're going to go back into our button, um, place pinpoint, give us some space to work with. And just as for this tutorial, we don't have a lot of time, but let's create a custom pinpoint. 
and we're just gonna say custom something like that we're gonna set this equal to new custom pinpoint and we're gonna pass in that D variable which is our drawable and also the context of our main class so we're gonna say our main dot this which is referring to the context of our main class and now we've set up a custom object which we'll get into more because right now it's not going to really do anything um, so we need to do some more stuff and we'll finish off you know this and the next tutorial and we'll get uh, we're going to be able to draw to our map so I'll catch you guys then and have a good one